what's going on everybody welcome to the channel and today we got the w10 by atop yeah atop remember them they've been away for a little while i haven't seen any quadcopters made by them but they're slowly making their way back into the mainstream with this w series line of quadcopters and this w10 is one of them they got some with gps and they are looking just fantastic i'll leave a link down below so you guys can check out the lineup of the w series by atop so today we got the w10 and it is a 720p wi-fi fpv altitude hold headless mode one key to take off and land rc quadcopter ready to fly so let's open up the box and check it out all right so let's take a look at what we get in the box here is the quadcopter it just came out of the box just like this pre-assembled minus the landing legs i snapped those landing legs on there and it is looking kind of similar to the sema x5c style of quadcopters just a slight smaller than that we'll come back to the clock up there in a little bit and here's the remote control as well we'll come back to the remote control in a little bit let's knock out all of this stuff that comes with it here's a bag of goodies and this one contains a full set of props and a screwdriver and that is everything in that bag and here's another bag this one contains the prop guards and it is a snap-on style prop guards as well and if you are a beginner i do suggest you put the prop guards on there it will help protect the props and the motors as well so let's put that on the side and here's the charge cable now here's the battery that comes with it it's got a proprietary charge receptacle so it's kind of like the sema x8 series the newer style of quadcopters by sema very similar looking as that and this one here is a 3.7 volt 450 milliamp battery and it's supposed to give you a flight time of 10 minutes naked it says so i'm assuming without the wi-fi camera attached and without the prop guards attached so naked all right so it'll give you about 10 minutes so with the wi-fi camera attached and the prop guards attached you probably get a lot less flight time than 10 minutes we'll check it out with just the landing legs and the wi-fi fpv camera so we'll take a look at that and here's the phone clip the phone clip is one of those clam style phone clips and it is pretty decent of a phone clip you just remove this little thing in the back of the transmitter and slide the phone clip into place and it is on there and you can put your phone right on it and it'll fit my iphone 6 plus without a problem so we'll take a look at that in a little bit let's go and take a look at the quick start guide it is a instruction booklet they're just calling it the quick start guide it tells you all about the package contents how to install the landing legs there you just snap it in how to install the prop guards and how to install the battery and all of the functions of the remote control and preparing to fly and using the remote control and the aircraft functions and how to trim so you got to push down on the left stick and then you can do the trim with the right stick so that's another one that doesn't have a dedicated trim button so that is the instruction or the quick start guide and here is another addendum pamphlet to the instruction booklet or the quick start guide and this one is all about the wi-fi phone app you can download it using these qr codes and it goes on to show you what all of the icons are and the functions thereof and also how to arm the motors on this quadcopter using the wi-fi phone app you have to physically do the both sticks to the bottom and out to arm the motors on this one so that is a little unique on this one here so put that on the side so let's take a quick look at the quadcopter here so it's got the brushed motors gear driven and the props look very similar to those uh sema x5c style props and we got the on and off button right up in the front and here's the wi-fi fpv camera and the camera is a tilt adjustable thank you very much and it goes directly straight and you can tilt angle it down to almost 90 degrees so very very nice i'll leave mine straight thank you and there's some nice led lights right up underneath of each of the arms as well as there's some lights on the inside as well so this thing is a really really nice night flyer i took it out for a little spin last night before i uh set everything up so take a look at that
And here's the Wi-Fi FPV camera with the antenna sticking out. And you plug it in on the bottom here. And to remove the camera, just press on this little button over here and you can go ahead and slide it out sideways, not forward or backwards. It goes in sideways and it locks into place, which is pretty cool. And there's the battery bay in the back and stick the battery in just like so and lock it in place. And we do have that on and off button right up in the front so you can leave the battery in there uh, until you are ready to fly but if you are putting it in storage take the battery out so it doesn't drain by itself being connected to any kinds of circuitry there so let's take a look at the remote control it is a very minimalistic looking remote control there's no buttons in the front at all just a power on and off button uh, little stubby looking antennas and here on the shoulder we have a button and a rotary dial the rotary dial is there just for looks this button over here on the shoulder however is the one key to take off and one key to land button and on the right side the button over here is the headless mode button and this rotary dial has no functions also and in the back we got a couple of other buttons in the back and these do have functions so this one here is the photo button and this one here is the video button we'll check it out and see if that uh, those buttons work so if you want to trim the quadcopter with this remote control you got to hold down the throttle stick and do the direction of the trim that you want with the pitch and the roll stick so we're getting kind of used to that uh, configuration without the physical trim button so that is working out pretty good i think it's pretty decent uh they could actually put some more buttons and give it more functions maybe perhaps you know so to calibrate the gyros of the quadcopter both sticks to the bottom and in will calibrate the gyros of the quadcopter and to arm and disarm the motors of the quadcopter both sticks to the bottom and out will arm and disarm the motors and as well as throttle stick all the way down will disarm the motors of the quadcopter also by pressing on the throttle stick you will change speeds and by pressing down on the pitch and the roll stick you will perform flips as well oh, one more thing i wanted to mention is the name of the app that you want to download from the app store or the google play store for the wi-fi fpv it is called the at top go free downloadable app so go ahead and check it out all right here we go with the demo flight of the at top w10 i turned on the quadcopter and i bound it to the hard remote up and down on the throttle will bind so we are good to go that is as far as i got it so there's green led lights in the front and blue led lights in the back and there's some red led lights inside of that power button very bright at night as you have seen so let's go ahead and start up the app i got the wi-fi fpv connected already the network and here we go we got fpv and it's supposed to be a 720p so it is looking good there is a little bit of a freeze there but that is okay we are used to seeing that so let's go ahead and start the screen record let me turn off my cellular service at that so we don't get no notifications and we are recording and that is the interface of the app so let's go and check it out let's go ahead and take a photo with the dedicated photo button in the back of the transmitter there you go it does work yeah so there's a couple of quadcopters now with the hard remote you can take photos with the wi-fi phone app turned on there you go taking a photo there and the light on the quadcopter does blink to let you know we're taking a photo. So very nice. I like that. And so far what it's looking like is the, the quality looks pretty good from the camera. Looks pretty clear. Okay, so take a photo of the landing pad. You know, landing pad is getting a lot of exposure. Alright, so taking some photos there. So let's go ahead and hit this video button and let's check it out yeah it is recording a video nice so you can either use the 
uh, hard remote to take photos and videos as well as the Wi-Fi phone app so you can use either or so very very nice so let's go ahead and calibrate the gyros of the quadcopter so let's go ahead and bolt sticks to the bottom and in calibrate the gyros and look at the lights are still blinking uh, double blink to let you know that we are taking a video and when I calibrated it it blinked in a different manner and now it's back to that double blink so arming the motors both six to the bottom and out arms the motors and this arm do it real quick and disarms the motors as well as throttle stick all the way down will disarm the motors as well so this is the one key to take off and one key to land let's see if it works by itself no it does not so you got to do that both sticks to the bottom and out to arm the motors and then hit this button and there you go one key to take off look at that very nice it's got a slight forward and to the right drift so I'm going to go ahead and trim it hold down the throttle do a little backward and to the left and there you go let me go ahead and bring it back now it's got altitude hold so you don't have to worry about height with this clock up there it is still going forward just a little bit let me trim backwards a little bit more that is how you trim this quadcopter so very very stable quadcopter here let me take a look at the video oh man the video is looking fantastic for this type of quadcopters don't get me wrong I mean there we go there I am I'm in the shot and I'm pushing it forward and slightly higher and going behind the car we are in speed number one I'm assuming so it's very slow so I'm gonna go ahead and turn around and go in the opposite direction which is directly in front of me and check it out you are able to FPV with this thing so just awesome and there I am once again cool very very nice so speed changing is the throttle stick as well short press it and I heard a couple of beeps and it is making its way back there you go I'm in the shot oh this is a very nice controllable quad cutter very very nice yeah no jerky movements and no interference so far with the control of the hard remote and there I am wow Ooh, I overshot myself though oops again there you go oh very nice guys there you go directly over me turning around awesome let me go to speed number three yeah very faint beeps so there's speed number three and this thing oh yeah it performs too look at that awesome at top huh yeah very nice all right very nice let's do some flips oh man look at the nice flips that it does too very smooth and stays within the altitude so let's go ahead and do a left side flip now forward flip wow all directional flips and just fantastic let's check out the one key to land okay let me redirect it to the landing pad and take a look at that very nice and the motors shut off all right let me arm the motors once again and manually take off and let's check out the headless mode here going in a spin going forward coming back going forward coming back going to the left going to the right headless mode works perfectly so let's get out short pressing it I wonder if long pressing it is the one key return no nope, there is no one key return on this quadcopter whoops there you go there was a slight interference and it started going in a direction and even though I let go of the stick it continued for a little while so there is a tiny bit of interference with the Wi-Fi phone app but so far that is just about it that is the only little iffy part of this quadcopter so far very nice all right so let's see what happens to the quadcopter when I turn off the remote control it's supposed to have a maximum range of 100 meters I'm not going to push it out to 100 meters I'm just going to go ahead and turn off the remote control okay turned it off let's see what happens 
it is just hovering and now it comes down it takes about two maybe three seconds at the most and it comes down in that spot and the motors turn off let me see turn it on and let's see if I can reconnect yep I got reconnected so you can run after the quad after if you lose connection and you can get it gain re-control of it all right very nice I'm gonna do a little bit more FPV what speed am I in I'm gonna go to speed number two and do a little bit more FPV awesome going away from me turning around oh there was a little stutter a little break up there so it does have a little bit of break up here and there but for the most part it is pretty decent right out of the box like this and this will probably benefit a lot more with a Wi-Fi repeater as you can see I got kind of stuck right there the uh, video did freeze a little bit and I'm gaining it back right around here yeah not bad very nice I'm not gonna run out the battery guys uh, supposed to get about 10 minutes of flight time and I only have this one battery so I think we did all of the functions let's go ahead and raise it up in altitude just a little bit and just kind of do a little pan slow pan please taking the sights before I bring it down okay kind of got stuck there and let me go ahead and bring it back all right so let me go ahead and stop the video and uh oh there you go stop the video and let me go ahead and stop the on-screen oh man my on-screen recording froze ah at least I got the video so let me go ahead and bring it back it's coming back it's coming back and I went about oh good 70 meters right there so we still had control so let me go ahead and hit that one key to land and bring it down and I'm going to go ahead and recharge the battery so we can do a little bit of phone app control as well yeah on these proprietary battery quadcopters you know it would be really nice if they gave you a couple of batteries to start you off so you don't have to continue to charge and the end user experience would be a lot more pleasant if you had two batteries to work with all right so let's go ahead and charge up the batteries and we'll be back all right here we go with our second flight of the at top w10 i got a fully charged battery the quad cutter is turned on i'm connected to the wi-fi network i'm inside of the app so let's go ahead and start my screen record hopefully this time the screen record stays on throughout the flight so i can show you guys what i'm doing it is kind of important now because i'm using the wi-fi phone app so here it is let's go ahead and turn on the displays and we got the one kilo takeoff one kilo land uh, gyro calibration so let's go ahead and calibrate the gyros there you go the lights are flashing and the gyro calibration is complete so what you want to do now is you want to arm the motors within the wi-fi phone app as well just by hitting the one key to take off it will not take off so you got to go both sticks to the bottom and out and it will arm the motors and then you can go either manual take off or this one key to take off all right there we go very nice little hover there is no breeze but let me go up in speed here so we are in the high speed or 100 percent and that is a full pitch forward so it is a little bit more docile in the phone app here than the hard remote and that is the behavior of the quadcopter with the wi-fi phone app control in high speed that we go forward and backward left and right so it is a very stable quadcopter though so i think a beginner can fly this clock up there with the Wi-Fi phone app so let me double check and see I'm at a hundred percent yes I'm at a hundred percent and we have a flip button on the phone app and yep it does flips as well all right so let's go ahead and check out the gyro mode there you go gyro mode let's hit that gyro mode and 
tilt the phone to control your quadcopter. Coming back towards me. Going forward. Oops, oops, oops. It's not going forward. It's going backwards. Let me get... Ooh, the phone is upside down and that is why. So let me go forward. So the screen tilts with the phone. So you're going to have to adjust your phone so that the screen locks. So you can tilt forward all the way and the gyro mode will work accordingly. So you don't want to tilt the phone too much. So it's going backwards because the phone is tilted. All right, so oh, again, that happened to me again. So let me get out of the gyro mode here and take control with the virtual stick. So it does work, but remember to do it in the settings where you lock the screen so you don't have to worry about the screen flipping over. All right, so let's go and check out the flight planner where you draw a line and the quadcopter will fly according to what you have drawn. So let me do a Z. There you go, going to the left and making a Z, going forward. Okay, let me go forward and to the right and come back. There you go, that is the flight planner. So whatever you draw, it will execute. There you go. I drew a spiral and it's kind of mechanical in its movements, but look at that, it completed the task. Coming back towards me, coming back towards me. Yeah, it is working just fine. Let's see. Voice control. Let me get out of the flight planner and use the voice control. Backwards. 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 Turn left. Left. Left turn. Left turn. Forward. Backward. Left turn. Turn left. Left turn. Left. Backward. Landing. Now check it out. The voice control works. And the motor shut off. Nice. Take off. I think you gotta arm the motors first. Take off. There you go. Takes off too. Let me get out of the voice control and take control with the virtual sticks. So all of the functions on the Wi-Fi phone app work. Even the flips work. So very, very nice. Yeah. Let me take a video though. Am I taking a video? There we go. We're taking a video now as well as a screen record. So let's raise it up in altitude and cruise. It's not going very far with the Wi-Fi phone app. And there is a small little breeze kicking in. So it is blowing it back and now it is fighting the wind. All right, so everything works in the phone app. So let's go ahead and bring it down. So pretty decent flyer. The W10 by Atop. Okay, let me hit that one key to land and you can still control it with your virtual sticks. Let me see if I can make it on the landing pad with the phone app. Almost! There you go. And the motors are shut off. Very nice. All right, just got done checking out the W10, the 720p Wi-Fi FPV RC quadcopter ready to fly by Atop. One of the toy grade quadcopters in the lineup of the W series of quadcopters. Uh, they got some nice ones in that series lineup. Uh, some even have GPS. So go ahead and check it out. I'll leave a link down below in the video description. So this W10 did just fantastic. It is a very nice uh, beginner quadcopter, guys. Wi-Fi FPV. 
B720P. Flown it with the hard remote with the Wi-Fi phone app turned on and I did not get much interference at all. All of the functions of the remote control worked very well. I did get a little bit of delayed response, maybe about 40 meters away, 45 meters away, but that is acceptable. And flown it with the Wi-Fi phone app solo as well, with utilizing the virtual sticks as well as the gyro mode and the flight planner as well as the voice control. Everything worked just perfectly. Uh, the only thing is you might want to lock your rotation of your screen on your device while flying in the gyro mode. Uh, that is just about it. Everything worked just perfectly. The video looked pretty good. Uh, the photo quality looks pretty good. So I'll check that out once I get home and edit it into the video. So that is it for now for the W10 in the W series by Atop. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.